We have an update to a developing story out of the Poconos. Officers are searching for a person who shot another following a fight at TLC Park in Tannersville Monday night. And that's where we have 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas live with the latest on that investigation tonight. Sydney. Good evening. Yes, Pocono Township Police just releasing new information about that shooting investigation last night. If you take a look at your screen, police say the shooting suspect fled in this dark colored Dodge Ram truck. They say the suspect is a man and was with three other men. Locks are seen on the basketball court gate at TLC Park in Tannersville following a shooting that took place Monday night around 7.15 p.m. Pocono Township Police say a fight on the basketball court led to an unknown person shooting multiple times at another. The victim was shot once in the back. He was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment and is now recovering in the ICU. The owner of Chohan Food Mart and Laundromat says he heard at least three gunshots when working Monday night. I saw, you know, the one guy, kid was running and he came uh, in my, uh, uh, you know, the parking lot and then all of a sudden he fell down. Pointing to where he says the victim fell next to his business. He tells Eyewitness News he called 911 and waited for officers. I mean, township, you know, they spend a lot of money. They do all the new paving and new uh, basketball court. They spend a lot of money, not for the crime. Police say they are currently reviewing nearby video surveillance and township officials say the court will be closed until they can get security cameras in the area. What's scary is one of our police officers pulled in because uh, we asked for a higher police presence, pulled in five minutes before the event happened and it still didn't deter them. People visiting the park Tuesday afternoon expressing their concerns about the shooting as police work to identify the gunman. It's rare that anything will happen out here especially in Tinsville. All you can do is just stay vigilant, mm -hmm. keep your eyes open, and, you know, stay prayerful and hopeful. Hopeful, yeah. In addition to security cameras, Commissioner Belvin says they're also looking into getting license plate readers. Now, police at this time say this is still an ongoing investigation, and anyone with any information is asked to call them. Nick, Candace. Let's hope those security mm -hmm. measures help out there. Sydney, thanks.